What's going on, guys? Death Mercy here. Come back to back on Prison Forge. Play on Prison Forge. Dot com. I'll put the IP down below in the description. Welcome back to another video. Let's get into it, shall we? Wow. So, 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 big welcome back from the previous week, or I should say the previous two weeks. We're now on dev update number four for Jailbreak MC. Um, let's get into it. There's a couple of small bugs and some new changes that we've added and implemented into the server. We have a couple of new features and bug patches for this update. One of which being shakedowns have been added, but they haven't been completed yet. Um, currently, they are added and they have the whole particles effect and all that. But one thing we're missing is when you right click on a chest, it's actually supposed to uh, say what items it's giving you. Because right now, it just gives you the items and that's it. Or maybe it doesn't even give you the items. Oh, that's cool. So it's not giving all the items as it's supposed to. <laughs> but we got the animation set up for it and we'll work on the items. The shakedown has been implemented, the countdown process, all that jazz has been implemented. But we still have to just fill the items with loot. Fill the chest with loot, I should say. But everything else is working as intended. Full particles so that when you right click those chests, your computer will lag. Very, very exciting. Next Next on the list, we uh, did a world guard bug with redstone ore, which has now been patched because previously when you tried to walk on redstone ore, it would like spam a particle effect, but now it should no longer do that. Um, we patched a bug with rewards going out free infinite glass. Previously, if you tried to click on a reward and claim it, it fills the slot with empty. And if you tried to claim that, it would give you just infinite empty glass panes, which is nice, but um, we, we don't really want to do bugs like that happen. So we went ahead and patched that for y'all. Um, we patched the water at spawn, not actually being free. Uh, so if I take a bucket here, uh, previously when you tried to right click this area with a bucket, it would not give you the water, but now it does. Now you get hella water and it's very nice and dandy and it's very... Water bucket. Uh, clear leg was not operating as intended. As you can see when I was trying to test this here, um, you got all the waters on the ground and I would do slash clear leg and nothing would happen. But now when I do slash clear leg, stuff gets cleared. Oh, it's so nice. So that's working as intended now. Uh, advancements, we had an issue with crafting advancements, where if you were to craft, like, let's say, some block, and you were to craft them, and you would shift-click to do a whole stack, you'd only get counted for the one crafting. So we have to patch that so it counts for all of the blocks when you craft them. So you can do stacks at a time, three stacks at a time, whatever it'll take, it'll it'll check all. Um, mines, we fixed an issue with the bottom of B-Mine not loading correctly, because we just had, like, probably not there anymore, but if you went to the bottom, you could actually see the mine poking out through the bedrock protection, so players could literally just escape the map, which we don't want that happening. We want players to stay in the mines at all times. You know, we, we need slave labor here. We need to make sure they're mining, producing money for the mines, that we can continue to open up more mines, and that way we can have more slaves to keep mining for us. All right, so, sorry, more prisoners, more prisoners. Yeah. We went ahead and removed cleansers from mining rewards because we just decided it was a little too OP and you guys didn't deserve them, and it wasn't really something that you'd get anyway, so you can no longer get cleansers from mining so get wrecked bozos we created a warps gui whether or not that is working is a very good question oh it looks like it is um how this works is i'm not really sure because i didn't actually make this um one of our other developers did oh shakedown has ended thanks for playing you're welcome happy to help so that's the warps gui now for completing advancements whenever you get the actual reward it'll pop up as a paper reward and then you can click on it and then that will actually give you the list of rewards when you click on the paper reward any rewards i can do real quickly here any advancements so 128 stone brick so if i go here clear i stone brick i stone brick shop um ooh, you know what which one's gonna actually let me sell here probably gonna be the first one huh yeah i click to sell all oh Crack stone brick. I'm smart. Uh, crack, crack stone brick, crack stone. One second, boys. All right, we figured it out. Let's go back to uh, God damn it, warp uh, uh, F. Um, okay, what the hell, guys? I swear I know how to play on the server. I found crack stone bricks. Okay, now we go ahead and sell all those really quickly here. Boom. Cast the foundation has been added. Um, well, when you type in slash reward, it does absolutely nothing, so we'll do slash rewards instead. And as you can see here, it's the Area 62 Advancement Reward. Task, rewards, purple key, 400,000 and 55k XP. Uh, I'm actually going to redeem that real quickly here, just so you can see. But we're going to redeem that. Oh, we got some XP. We got 400 grand. I got a purple key. I don't remember if that was supposed to be more than one purple key, but I got a purple key. So we're, we're chilling. It's working. Let's pop some night vision going on here. 
keep everything nice and lit. Uh, we patched the ability to use a whole stack of cleansers unintentionally. Like if you tried to use a cleanser that was stacked, it would just use the entire stack instead of just using one. So that has been fixed. We added a functionality with repair scrolls. We still need to add the success and failure messages to it, but they, they now work. I take it they weren't working before. A lot of these updates have actually been due to another developer that we have recently been teaching on what to do and such, and it's been very, very exciting. I've been able to focus on other behind the scenes. Um, so that's why there's some things that I'm like, just kind of just reading off the list here and being like, yeah, sure, that makes sense. <laughs> we added some values for freeze. I think that just means we updated the enchant and how it works. So now this time when you go mining, uh, there's a better scalability to it. So it actually works as intended. I know we've been having a little bit of issues with freeze in the past. So now it's got more value. Ranks have removed a level requirement to rank up because that was previously when I was trying to test out um, on the server here, like what to do. So now it doesn't need a rank to rank. Sorry, you don't need a level to reach a specific level. So now, whenever you try to rank up, you don't need to be a specific level, because it'll just be as it was before in Jailbreak MC, so pretty cash money. Um, we made it so advancement only shows your mind's advancement. So now, whenever you do slash advancement, um, this only shows the, your current mine, um, but which requires you to use the L key bind on your keyboard, which also opens up advancements, which you can also do by pressing escape and then advancements. Uh, but however, this has not been completed yet. We are still working on that. Uh, stop that. Enchant has now fully functioning. Before it was not, but now the enchant is. Uh, shakedowns have been created. Um, we just have to update the timing and the pools, as I mentioned before. Uh, mine stats was not displaying in the correct area before you type mine stats. So it wouldn't let you know where you were. But now you can do it anywhere. You don't have to be directly on the mine, but you can be close enough to the mine that it would be like, oh yeah, that's that's the mine stats for the mine. So that's pretty, pretty cool, pretty cash money. Um, next we have an inventory bug where every time a player would disconnect, um, everybody's on the server uh, inventory would automatically close. So if they were mining, it would open up and then go back to this menu right here. So we patched that. Very weird bug. I'm not sure why it was coded like that, but uh, I patched that. That coding was actually my my mistake there. So, but we don't have to worry about that anymore. So that's been patched. And then we updated the scoreboard on the right here. So it doesn't affect this type of scoreboard, but on the newer updated scoreboard, whenever you whenever it scroll through the links here, it would kind of like change in format and size. So that was just a small um, visual bug that we changed so that it looks a little bit better. You know, presentation is everything. And um, that's kind of it for this update. Oh wait, I skipped one. Cosmetics. We added a cosmetics GUI. Um, work in progress, of course, but everything is pretty self-explanatory. I could have sworn we covered this in the last video, though. Yeah, so evidently I did not cover that in the last video. But uh, we have a new cosmetic GUI, so this is uh, pretty, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, we'll continue to update this as more cosmetics get implemented. Uh, but yeah, you click on the cosmetic uh, in the slash cosmetics GUI, and then it takes you to that area. Pretty cool, pretty nice. Um, and then as you can see, we have more cosmetics that we are working on behind the scenes. So we got some balloons being implemented, as well as some uh, particle effects and passive particle effects. And then we're also going to be working on some like block breaking particle effects that you can get in game and such. Uh, it's going to be very fun. It's going to be very cool. It's going to be a lot of stuff that you guys can um, just unlock in terms of like playing the game, or if you really want to, spend money on the server and buy those things as well but I, I think in terms of oh sorry got a little too close there actually you know we'll get a little bit closer we'll, yeah 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 that's all a little bit right and then oh you you smell good oh oh ma okay all right <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, so there a lot of features that we're working on for the server. Um, we're getting close to releasing. I think one of the big things is um, cell still, um, shakedowns, of course, and then just the fine tuning of a lot of the plugin. Um, but the, the meat of the server, we're really close on. I know I keep saying that, but we're getting closer and closer as time progresses. Um, we're actually going to be start working on some future events. Um, so I'm going to start talking about those events, but I also am going to be very vague about them because I want them to surprise you guys as they come out on the server when the server is actually updating. So I'll be like, hey, we have this month's event completed. And I completed this feature and this feature, but I can't say what feature they were. I'll just list like, oh, we have feature one, two, three, four, five, right? And I apologize for that, but that'll just keep you guys a little bit in the dark, but a little bit in the know as well. So you guys still know that we're doing stuff, but not to the point where it's like, oh, I already know everything's going to happen. That's boring. I don't want to play it anymore. We got entertainment. We got value. It's coming up. Very, very excited. So I, I can't wait. Oh, shit. Okay. I don't think I broke anything there. So we're chilling. <laughs> we got Corvatec to protect server from stuff as well. So um, I think that's it for this video. I really appreciate you all for listening and joining us today. There is a lot of people in the Discord, so if you haven't done so already, please be joining, sure to join the Discord, discord.gg slash jailbreakmc. Um, with the Discord as well, 
I gotta say, there's one more update. Um, I'm kind of changing how the Discord setup is working. So we have Prism Forge Network. That's gonna be the main Discord where we're gonna handle all the Prism Forge related stuff. But and then we're gonna start having sub server Discords for their respective categories. So, with that being said, Jailbreak MC Discord is gonna handle all the Jailbreak MC stuff. If you ever want to like apply for staff or whatnot, we'll go ahead and direct you to the Prism Forge Discord because as a staff member on Jailbreak MC, you're actually a staff member on Prism Forge. So yeah, you go to the. Or I don't know. We're we're still working on it, but that's kind of like the main concept is Prism Forge is like the host parent company, so to speak, and then the Jailbreak MC game mode is its own organization, but it's still hosted and funded by Prism Forge. So yeah. Um. So we got to change all of this here, like Discord.gg slash Prism Forge is gonna be changed to Jailbreak MC and so on and so forth. So um. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're going. We're getting there, and um, it's very exciting. I'm very excited to play on the server again. <laughs> Have a great fucking time. It's been a while since I've played any like Minecraft related games, and uh, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> Comment, like, subscribe for more. Stay tuned. Thanks for all your patience and the support, and it's been awesome, awesome. And yeah, audios. Have a fantastic day. Peace. Woo!